Good morning, children. Before we start, I just want to say welcome back. I hope you had a lovely half term and you rested up well. So today, children, we are going, this video is for children in the obelisk group. Before we do your learning, please can you make sure that you do the starter, which for the, for the time being is going to be TT Rockstars. So please log on and you need to do a mi minimum of 10 minutes, okay? So that's your starter. Um, myself and Miss Wilson can check to make sure that you're doing the starter uh, by using the session tool. So please make sure you're doing that. So today, children, we are going to be doing the perimeter of of a rectangle okay now a perimeter of a rectangle is basically counting the length of each side until you get back to the starting point now in this case we've been given the measurements so from here to here is three centimeters from here to here is three centimeters so they're the same and here to there is five centimeters and there to there is five centimeters now to work this out to find a perimeter, we need to add these four measurements together. So we can do, what we'll do is we can do mental arithmetic here. We don't need to do a written method. So three plus three, because it's the same, so it's doubling, doubling this number here, is six. Five plus five is 10. So 10 plus six equals 16. To be, it says match the rectangle to the correct perimeter. So again, with a rectangle, what we're gonna notice is that the opposite sides are always gonna be the same length. So you see eight and eight opposite, nine and nine opposite, eight and eight, two and two, five and five, eight and eight. So we do the first one here. So eight plus eight is 16. Nine plus nine is 18. 18 plus 16. Now, this, you may want to just use a written method here, just to make sure that we don't make any mistakes. So 18 plus 16, eight plus six is 14. One plus one plus one equals three. So this A matches to 34 centimeters. We'll do this one next. Eight plus eight is 16. 2 plus 2 equals 4, 16 plus 4 equals 20. So B matches 20 centimetres. And therefore, C must match to 26, but we'll just double check. 8 plus 8 equals 16. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 16 plus 10 does equal 26. So we know we've got it right. True or false, the perimeter of the rectangle below is 16 centimetres. So to work this out, we just need to add these four uh, measurements together. So five plus five equals 10. Three plus three equals six. 10 plus six equals 16. So the answer is true. Choose two measurements which will make a rectangle with a perimeter of 24 centimeters. So what we need to do, we need to, this is going to require trial and error children. So we're going to try, take two measurements first, and we need to make sure we double them. And what I mean by double them is, remember, we've got to have two measurements for the same, because that's what happens in a rectangle. We've got the opposites of the side. So if we take, we'll take eight, and we'll take six to begin with. So we've got eight plus eight, six plus six. Because don't forget, we've got two sides that are going to be eight centimeters and two sides that are going to be six centimeters. Eight plus eight equals 16. Six plus six equals 12. Together, that makes 28 centimeters. So we know it's not going to be eight and six. And like I said, this is trial and error. So you just got to keep going and hopefully find one that will match. So we can now do, let's do seven and four. So seven plus four. So seven, sorry, seven plus seven equals 14 four plus four equals eight add these together 22 still not at the 24 centimeters so let's try eight and four centimeters this time because we were close eight plus eight equals 16 four plus four equals eight add these two together 24. 
So we know that eight and four centimeters will make a rectangle with a perimeter top of 24 centimeters. That's your very fluency for that part of the learning. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go doing your reasoning and problem solving. And we've got a question here. Logan has drawn a rectangle with a perimeter of 24 centimeters, but a plane spat has covered the measurements of each side. What could the measurements of each side be in millimeters? Now, this is going to require um, some conversion, but it's really easy conversion because it's saying that he wants a centimeters, but then he to get 24 centimeters perimeter, but he wants the answer of each side in millimeters. Now, remember, with a rectangle, two the opposite sides are the same. Now, what we're going to be a bit cheeky and we're going to use our learning from pre from the previous one here, because this is 24 centimeters. We're going to use eight and four. So we know that we're going to have two sides that are eight centimeters and two sides that are four centimeters. And then that will equal 24. However, it says, what could these measurements of each side be in millimeters? Now, for, for this aspect, one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So to work out how to convert centimeters to millimeters, we need to, we need to multiply the numbers by 10. So what could the measurements of each side be? So if we're gonna multiply each one by 10, we're gonna have 80 millimeters and 80 millimeters, because we've got two lots, don't forget, and 40 millimeters and 40 millimeters. So our answer, is here, two lots of 80 millimetres and two lots of 40 millimetres. Remember that if you need to, when you come to that question, make sure you pause, um, you can you can use this if it asks you to in the question. Here is a tower of toy bricks. One brick has a, a length of six centimetres and a width of three centimetres. Calculate the perimeter of the tower. So we've been, these are the same, what we can notice right, these are the same size. So this here to there is six centimeters. So here to there will be six centimeters. Here to there is three centimeters, but so is that, so is that, and so is that. So we say this is three centimeters, three centimeters, and three centimeters. Let's work out what the total is. So we've got to add these all up together. Three plus three plus three plus three. So four lots of three equals 12 centimeters. That means this will be 12 centimeters as well. So now we're adding six plus six, which equals 12. And 12 plus 12, that equals 24. So 24 plus 12 equals 36 centimeters. So six plus six equals 12. 12 plus 12 equals 24. Add the 24 and the 12 together gives us 36. Our last question, Muna says, I worked out the perimeter of my shape and all the sides were equal in length. My shape is a rectangle. Is Muna correct? Prove it. Now she says that all her shapes, now if we were to say in our book, that this here is three centimeters. Because I've got three boxes. She says all the sides are equal length. So let's make each side equal length. So each side is three centimeters. And her shape is a she says her shape is a rectangle. Is she correct or she's incorrect? And the reason why she's incorrect is that if all the sides, which we've got here, are the same length, this shape is a square for it to be a rectangle we can look at this we can look at a previous picture here and understand that for a rectangle the opposite sides are the same length but they're different lengths so as we can see here three centimeters on each side means it's going to be a square so unit is incorrect that's your um input for today's lesson so please now go to your task sheet there is extra practice that i would like you to do on ixl at the end of your task sheets as well best of luck